stay still. Okay, hi FlossTube. My name's Angela. This is my FlossTube channel. I, get, um, it, I do cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, and whatever craft I decide to be, to dabble in. <laughs> I love crafts, can't help it. And I like to try different things. And some things I try and I realize that I do not like them or I can't do them. And I, although I want to do them, I can't do it. And some that I just really, really enjoy, maybe because they're more simple for me. But so the last floss tube that I was on here or that I put on, it was probably about a month ago. And it was the one where my husband and I had gone to the beach. I showed some beach pictures and some sunset pictures and some ocean wave sounds. It was really nice. We went for a about five days. It was a longer weekend. Um, we have a condo at the beach that we inherited from my mother-in-law when she passed away about four years ago. And so we rent it most of the time just to pay for the... Um, like dues and upkeep and everything. But besides that, we just mark it off when we want to go. So we try to go, and now we try to go as much as we can when it's warm, but, um, and you know, it's easier for us now because we don't have kids at home. I mean, it's it was harder. We couldn't do that when we had kids that were in school. So now that we're um, kind of empty nesters, I guess, then it's a lot easier for us to just take off in the middle of the week and go. So we went to the beach and this is gonna be <laughs> some of the life update. Okay, so what, I don't even know if I told y'all this, I have no idea, but I went, okay, I actually went to the beach, it was a different place over Labor Day weekend. And it's when everything was starting to open back up and all that, and I went with a few friends. And when I came back, I got the virus. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name of it. I'm YouTube, I'm, I'm, I don't know what censored or what, but anyway, I ended up getting the virus. And I started feeling, when we got back on Monday, we got, it was over Labor Day weekend, and we got back on a, no, I'm sorry, a Sunday, no, that Monday, Labor Day, that evening, and I was feeling okay. And then I started feeling kind of bad. And then I found out that some other people that I was with were not feeling good, and I was like, oh, no, because I was in a car with them. And these are people that I, that I, hang out with a lot and so I've constantly been around them and so it, it's I felt pretty good about being around the same people like this small little group anyway so yeah so I, I did I did not feel good I had a fever I was achy I was um, just very very tired and so I ended up going and getting a rapid test because we had some things that we we're gonna be doing that next weekend. Um, my family was coming in town, or my son and his, do um, son, his daughter, and his wife, and we were supposed to go to some, a party, um, like an engagement party for a wedding that he's in, and we just had things that I needed to know fast. I didn't need to know like right away. I mean, I didn't need to wait five, for five days. So I went in and I was like, I just, if this is not what I have, then I don't know what I have, but I don't feel good. So they did the rapid test, it came out positive. So I just like stayed in my room. I just had, I had no energy and I just really, I felt drained and I felt yucky and I had a little bit of a cough. But besides that, I was, it wasn't too bad. I mean, as far as the cough, the cough part. And, you know, it was a little bit hard for me like to take deep breaths, I, I would say. It was, it was tight, but it wasn't, you know, too terrible, which is, which is awesome because I was really, I was scared about that because I've heard so many different stories. 
Then I lost my taste and my smell for nine days. <laughs> and you think I would have lost a little bit of weight, but I did not. But it, that was just the weirdest, most bizarre thing. And to begin with, I'm like, okay. But then at, by the ninth day, I was just like over it. I was over it. I was like, uh, and I'm not complaining because I would say overall my symptoms were mild. I had the flu back last a year ago in November. It was right after my son got married and I think I felt so much worse when I had that than during this. But it was so weird because over that course of, I would say I had it for about, I had symptoms for about two weeks. It seemed like every day I would get a new symptom. I mean, the taste and smell lingered, but like one time I would just feel like I, I was sneezing and I had a cold and my nose was stuffed up and then was runny and then, Anyway, it was just, and then it was like, then it went to like my digestion <laughs> track and just hit that. So anyway, that's my story on that. So I, I um, am thankful that it wasn't anything worse than what it was. It wasn't fun, but just the stories I've heard, I I, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you know, I mean, because everybody I know that has had it is, has different symptoms. Okay, so then my husband and I go to on our beach trip, and when he gets back, he gets it. He started, um, we got back on a Sunday, and he woke up on Monday morning, and he was going to leave to work out because he goes really early, and then he he said he'd made it as far as like the grocery store. And he's like, I don't, I have a fever. I don't feel good. So he went and got like a thermometer to take his fever because we didn't even have one. And I said, you need to go get tested because you can't go into work because he had started going back into his office. He's like, you can't, you've got to stay away. You got to stay away from my mom. You know, you got to know. But he went to the he called his doctor and he went, ended up going to like a pharmacy and he went and got like the test that takes like three or four or five days whatever to come back and he, he, he you do it yourself it's like a drive-through thing and you stick the thing up your nose and anyway so when this when it he still felt bad when he finally got his results and he was like the same thing, he had a fever, he had a fever a lot longer than I did, he had a really terrible cough, and he just felt awful. So he just stayed down in the basement. He got his results back, and they were negative. And I'm like, well, I don't know what you have, you'd probably just have a, a virus uh, that's going around, because I mean, there are other sicknesses out in the world besides this. So, he still continued to feel bad. He stopped, he, went, he actually, Stopped running a fever, went back into the doctor. They checked him out, did a chest x ray because of his cough, and said, Everything looks good. You just, there's a, you know, you just have like a 40, maybe you just had like a 72 hour virus or something. And he's like, Yeah, I feel a lot better besides this cough. I feel better. Um, and he did. I mean, he was out do, in the yard doing stuff. And so that night, he gets into fever again and starts feeling bad again. And then, so he went back. <laughs> to the doctor, he went like three times that week. They did another test and it came back positive. So the first time he just went too early. So his has lingered. He had, he had a, his, his, his symptoms were worse than mine and he just felt bad and I, he just got back, like went back to work. It took him almost a month to get over it. His cough wouldn't go away. He had to go get on a breathing treatment. He had to get cough medicine. It was it was awful. And then he was he finally came up and got in bed because he's been sleeping down the basement. And I felt bad. And I'm like, oh, I pl I pray that I'm like good for like three months or however long they they're saying that I won't catch it again because he was like coughing right in my face. It was it was uh, not good. But he's finally feeling better. He's back to his old self. He went to work today. That's why I'm making a video because I haven't had any privacy in order to make a video. So here I am. 
Um, that's our experience with this whole thing. So um, my prayers go to everyone who is affected with this because I know that, that I mean, it's just not good. <laughs> just not good. And, they're, and the cases are rising and they're high, a lot higher here in Georgia. And I'm afraid they're just going to shut things down again. And I feel bad for the people that that affects. And I'm just so glad that that we've had it. My son had it, but he had only, he only lost his taste and smell. And he goes to a big um, university. So his symptoms are very mild and just about everybody he knows has had it there. So. <laughs> uh, because that was, you know, as soon as I went back in August, that was, we knew that was gonna happen. But I have my other son, my older son and my daughter-in-law have not had it. So I, I hope they don't but they probably will. Okay, so that's enough about that. And so now, so this week was the first weekend that I wanted to show you something, y'all. Oh my gosh, you're gonna just, it's kind of gross. And so when I tell you to look away, if you don't like gross things, then look away. Because it's a, it's a bruise, it's a bruise, okay? I'm just gonna show you a bruise I have. And it's on my arm, so it's not, I mean, it's not, blood or anything but um so my husband's feeling better and so he said i want to take you he likes to skeet shoot okay he just grew up doing it with his his dad his grandfather his whole family and so he he had joined this club that's about 45 minutes away it's beautiful it's beautiful in the mountains and they've got like these it's, it's kind of like golf they do tournaments and stuff, but you just go out there and practice. You can get on these golf carts and drive from, from each course to another. And then, anyway, so he wanted me to go with him, and he wanted to show me or teach me how to do it so we could do it together. And I was like, okay, well, I have never even, like, I've never shot a shotgun or whatever kind of big gun it is that you do the skeet shooting with. But my husband's very, he was taught very early. He's very, very, very cautious and so like he has all these rules and he was giving me all the rules and showing me how to hold it. And anyway, he, I just, you know, I felt, I felt very comfortable doing it with him there and telling me and showing me exactly all the safety measures that need to be taken. But so anyway, he said, okay, when you, when you hold it, hold the gun, you put the barrel in your shoulder, like your shoulder, I don't know. He's he he was showing me, and so I said like this, you know, and I would show him. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, so I did it, and it did, the gun did kick. It kicked back a little bit, but not too bad. But I kept doing it over and over and over again, and apparently, when I was holding it, it would slip. When it, I just spit. Did y'all see that? It would slip, and hit me in the arm. After a while, I was like, oh my gosh, my arm hurts so bad. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. And he didn't realize exactly that I was holding it the wrong way. I was not putting it in the right place. He didn't know that. He thought I was, but I guess I wasn't. Let me just show you what my arm looks like now. Okay, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. And I'm not like taking my shirt off or anything. I'm just gonna raise my sleeve up really quickly. There's the bruise I got. Look, oh my gosh, it hurts just a little bit, but not bad, not bad. it hurt worse, but he felt so bad, he's like, oh my gosh, and I was like, I tried, I actually shot three, I, I, I shot three of them and busted them up, so I didn't completely just suck at it, which is good, it was worth it, so, okay, now, that's life updates. Everything's good. Everything's good. Now, with the things I worked on, I did not work on a whole lot. I didn't work on a whole lot. I did work on a, one. my one beaded cross stitch that I've been um, working on is the red cardinal for um, with a Santa hat on. And um, I, I made a little progress, I think, since the last time I showed you, but that's where I've gotten to on this. So I just really, really enjoy doing this. I, um, you know, it's like it's like a full coverage.
cross stitch, you read the pattern the same way, but I just, and my, you know, when I do like a little row of the beads, I've shown you the details about how I do it before. I just mark it off. So I've come along, you want to see it again? <laughs> all of those are little beads, all of them. And I'm really liking the, like the detail in it. So I'm gonna keep working on that one just because you know, it's the season. And I have also been working a little bit on the dimensions um, stocking that I ordered. Okay, I have, this is my first, well, I guess this is the first gold collection thing that I've ordered, but this is um, called Holy Night Stocking. And the design is by Richard Jesse Watson. It is kind of cross stitch, half cross stitch is used, but it's the stocking. I'm sorry about the reflection. I'm sitting in front of a window and I have a light. You know, I'm trying to get a little light in this house right now, but it's the stocking with the, um, you know, like nativity scene there. I just, I just love that. I am in no way, let me reach here. I'm in not any hurry to get this done because I don't really, I'm planning on giving it to my first grandchild and I don't know when that will happen. <laughs> I figure I have about four years to finish it is what, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. This is the first time I've ever done full coverage. I really like it. I mean, when I started doing this, like, I can do this. This is the first time I've tried parking threads. Um, I have always been really scared about doing this kind of thing, and I think I've gotten over my fear. Is it perfect? No. Are my, are my, are my crosses messy and not perfect? Yes, they're not. Some of them look terrible. Sometimes I can't even see the holes and I just guess. I just like stick it in. Like, I think that's where it goes. And this is the needle. This is a needle minder that I got from um, Agnes Needle Minders. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. It's like a little dragon. I don't know if I showed that or not, but it looks really good right here in this light. So I wanted to show it to you again. I don't want to pull the needle off. What am I doing? It's it's a dragon. Can you see? Where's the head? There it is. There's his little eyes. Right there. I love it. I want to name it. I don't know what, but yeah, isn't that cute? I've done the cow, the cow, I, I, yeah, that's a cow. You know what, I don't even wanna do the back stitching on this though. I was looking at it and I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to. I don't know, it might not need it. I don't like back stitching. So that's what I've done on that. I'll probably will try it if it looks like it needs it in some places, I'm sure it will. Okay, so those, those two things I've been working on pretty, regularly, I would say. And, <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> I've tried something new. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. It's probably gonna shake a bit. Oh, by the way, my hair is sticking up all over the place. Um, one of the symptoms, or I, I found out one of the things, my hair has changed. I'm losing my hair, it's gotten a lot thinner. And I heard that was like an after symptom of the virus. That's not good for me. My hair was already thin. So it's actually it actually broke off like a whole lot right up here. And so now I just have like these sprigs that just do that. Okay, back to cross stitch. I became obsessed with Gecko Rouge. Is that how you say it? Gecko Rouge? Gecko Rouge? I became like, I was like, I want one. I want to try one of these kits. Just the whole kit appeal to me. That's why I like the dimensions kits when you just don't have to order. Everything comes together and everything's there and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I was like, well, I'm going to order one because they're kind of pricey. But remember, you get everything, everything that you need in the kit. So I found one on eBay. I actually found one on Merc Mercari and I ordered it and then I canceled it because I was like, it was 25 count one over one. And I was like, there is no way that I can do that. 
because my highest I've been is 18 count eight on Ada. And I, that's like my happy spot. Like I can see it. I don't need like extra mega powerful lights. But anyway, I was like, I don't know. Well, then I found one on eBay and I, the price was, was good. And I ordered it and it was 25 count <laughs> one over one. Let me show you what I ordered. This is called, um, it's by Illustrated Ink and it's called Alter Visions. It has like 75 colors on it. There. That's what I ordered. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and order it because the shipping from um, Gecko Rouge is from uh, the UK, I believe. And so I figured the shipping was gonna be like, take forever. And it takes them like a long time to prepare the kits because they do it all, you know, there's just like a few of them. And I mean, they put a lot of time and you know, they're good kits, right? So I was like, I can get this one really fast and I can see what the 25 count one over one is like. Well, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't even know which way this thing goes, but that's what I've done. That's what I did so far. And apparently this is on, I don't know, it feel, the fabric is just weird to me. It's like a magic count or something. I don't know, it just, it feels, I mean, it's gridded and everything, but I like, I didn't realize that in one of these little squares, it goes like 20 by 20, not 10 by 10. And so I feel like it's a lot more for me to keep up with. And so I was doing this and I was like, you know what? It's not the pattern. I just I don't like doing 25 count one over one. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not, it wasn't enjoyable to me. Now I'm not, you know, giving up on it. I mean, I'm, I might pick it up when I want like to challenge myself for something. So in the meantime, when I was waiting for this kit to get to me from eBay, which it took about, you know, less than a week really, because it was from the United States. Someone had was just reselling it, I guess. I ordered, I was on the, the Gecko Rouge website or whatever it's called and I saw, or the Facebook page, because I joined their, their Facebook page, I saw they were coming out with these ho-ho, ho-ho, ho kits. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Ho-ho, ho kits. They're mystery um, cross-stitch. They're mystery kits. Like, you don't know. You know the, the you know the, um, who the artist is gonna be, but you don't know what the picture is gonna be. And there were like three different ones to choose from when it first came out, but they're limited edition. You can only, I mean, like when they're gone, they're gone. So I was like, I'm getting one. I don't care what it is. I wanna get, so I ordered I ordered the Ho 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 kit. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Someone correct me. Um, I ordered the kit and I ordered an 18 count. So I was like, and, and this is before I got the 25 count and didn't know I wasn't gonna like it. So I'm so glad that I ordered the 18 count because anyway, because that would be, that would be better. Well then that, and that I don't think is supposed to ship out until like December 1st. And I have no idea what the picture is. I can't even remember what the name of the artist is. There was only like one artist left. All the other ones had sold out. And so I just grabbed what they had left. So then they said that they had, and this is kind of a new purchase and a start for me, they had these things called gems. Gem, they'd already come out with them. Gem one had already come out, and I think this is, this is gem two, okay? And it's a mystery too. I don't know why I like mysteries. <laughs> they're, exciting. they're exciting to me. But, um, I said, okay, I'm gonna order this. I'm gonna order this. And these kits are supposedly 
I think they're smaller cross stitch and it would be ready in like two weeks to ship out. So I thought, okay, well, that's fine. I ordered an 18 count. I still probably won't get it until sometime in December. I got a shipping notification when they said they were gonna ship them out. Like I think two, I don't even know how long it was after I ordered it, not, lot, not that long. I got a shipping notification and it was here the next day. I was completely surprised. It came in this cute little gift box that had a ribbon on it and a little flower and it had, anyway, it was really cute and wrapped up in yellow um, wrapping paper. It was like opening a present and I love that. And I was just like, oh. and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I love this, I love this. And I'll show you what it is because it's been, it, we had to keep it a secret until Friday, I think. And so someone's already put it out on the Facebook page, so it's out now, but here it is. It's called Bumblebee and it's by Lorna Lane. Isn't it cute? I love it. So, um, yeah, so I got, I was so surprised to get that in the mail so fast. It took a, a day to get to me from the UK which is awesome. Okay, so I start on it, of course. I was like, ooh, I'm starting on it. So much more enjoyable. It came with the fabric and all the, um, all the th uh, I think it has 29 colors. And this is 18 counts, so it's gonna be um, 5.89 by 8.6 inches. So this is Gem 2. And it came with, and this is a mess because I have it on this little hoop but I've started it and that's what I've done so far. And it also came with this needle minder that has the same, um, the, the picture on it. And then also one that says, well, it's sideways, but it says gym too, to like collect. Isn't that so cute? I'm gonna try to order these gems every time they come out. I think they're fun and and I think this is pretty. And the thing is, I actually think I might finish this. It's not too big. I mean, it's big enough, but I don't know. I just love all how the colors going down and how it's changing. So pretty. So I'm really enjoying the Gecko Rouge kit in 18, in 18 count. And yeah, I had this color fabric that it came with, which is cool. I didn't know that it came with colored fabric. I thought it was just going to be like plain white Ada. Okay. So that's what I've been working on. That's some new stuff, some older, some older whips. And then I made some purchases and then I'll have some other stuff coming too, because I have been watching too much <laughs> Cocahamas, Rocio, Rocio. How, Okay, you're gonna get mad at me if you watch this video and I cannot pronounce your name. Rocio. I don't know. Correct me. Cocahamas, her channel, everybody knows who she is. I've been watching too much of her and lately the House of Stitch and Stash. Um, Rika. And then I started watching the person she watches, Luda. I love them all. I love them all. So I'm just like obsessed watching, 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 going to watching. So I was watching Rocio. I don't have that accent, so it sounds just real hickish when I say it. <laughs> That's why it doesn't sound right. But I was watching her channel and she was talking about this dimensions kit that she found on eBay. And I thought it was pretty. And so I ordered it. <laughs> And it was cheap. It was really cheap. I mean, like, I think with the, the price of it, with everything combined, with the cost of it and the shipping was, I want to say $12, maybe. And I mean, and it's small. It's one of the gold collection petites, and it's called Garden Lady. Who's it by? Designed by Wild Apple Portfolio. It was that one. Y'all remember when she showed that? So, of course, I copied you. Cocahamas, Rocio. <laughs> uh, it sounds so much better when you say your name than when I say it. 
Okay, so there you can see a little bit better. So yeah, I thought it was pretty with the flowers. I don't know when I'll ever do it. I just wanted it. It probably has a lot of back stitching. But it's not a full coverage, I don't believe. I think that's just I think that's just fabric and it's just this, so. And there's the all the threads in it. Okay, so apparently with the dimensions kits, which I've become obsessed with for some reason, if they're if they have a a thread organizer, who was telling who was this? This is Rika who was saying this. If they have the thread organizer thing, then they're from China. And then if they don't, if the thread just comes in a bundle and you have to like sort it out yourself, it's from the US. That's interesting to me. I like it. Don't know when I'll do it, but I like it. I will finish the stocking. <laughs> I want to finish the stocking first. Then I ordered something off Merc Mercari. I don't know about this. Now that I got it, I don't know if, if I'm going to like doing it. Because I don't know. But it's this. It's, it's from... Candemar Designs, Candemar. And I think those are the same, that's the same, like, can you even see that? Sorry, that light. Anyway, I think it's the same people who came out with the, you know, that do the, the um, Thomas Kincaid Disney collection ones that everybody wants. But what I'm not sure about in this, in this picture is like this back stitching like on the roof and I don't know if you can see that, but it's just, um, that's the full picture. But the, the back stitching looks weird like on the roof and in the windows, so I don't know. I may not even do it. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty. It's called, um, what is it called? Oh, there it is right there, stepping. Let me turn this off. I feel like I've got so much light. Maybe that's better. Stepping Stone Cottage. Yeah. And a lot of the ones that are on Mercari, you have to look at them really closely because I love Thomas Kincaid, first of all, but you have to look at them really closely because a lot of them are the embellished ones that have the stamped background, and I don't really know what that is, to be honest with you. So, um, if they show a picture on the, you know, like multiple pictures of it, then usually you can tell because you can see that the, that the fabric is stamped. But this one didn't look to be, and it doesn't say embellished. So it's 14 count on white Ada cloth, has the floss, a needle, the chart and the easy to follow instructions. I think it's a pretty picture. I'm just really not sure about the back stitching, like I said, but there. And this one was super cheap. I mean like, and that's why I got it. It was like, I think it was under $10. And I thought that was a really good price. So that's the other thing that I ordered. I have a couple of other things that are on their way to me because um, I watch those channels and they're both enablers. <laughs> and I loved some of the stuff that I, I was like, ooh, I'm getting that, ooh, I'm getting that. And so they're not, they're actually more, not cross stitch. I ordered one thing off eBay that was, I would get it, I started getting up in the middle of the night, like, credit. Well, my husband's name is Craig. I might as well just go ahead and tell you because I just said it and I'm not editing it out. He um, would wake up in the middle of the night coughing and he'd wake me up. And so I couldn't, then he'd wake me up and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I would get on my phone and I would order stuff. Just not good. It's not good. So I, but it was, made me feel better. It was, I consider it retail therapy. But I ordered a cross stitch slash beaded um, mixed technique 
thing off of eBay and it was $12.99. So I wanted to try it because I wanted that, I don't know, it was a pretty like flower picture and it looked like it's something I could do. We'll see when we get that. I'll show that to you in the next the next floss tube. And then the rest of the stuff I order is kind of like really um, more accessory type things. And it's not a whole bunch. And it's just stuff that I actually really needed, but because I'm getting more things than I need, that I, I need a little bit more organization, I guess. Okay, and the last thing that I worked on which I've sh showed this to you before, but I'll show you how far I've gotten on it, which isn't very far. And I enjoy doing this, but I just, um, I put it upstairs. I'm gonna take you up there to show you what what it looks like or what I've done so far on it. But it's this um, quilt top. And I've never made a quilt before in my entire life. I don't know how to sew on a sewing machine but this is the English um, paper piecing technique. And I saw a, um, a video from Long Dog Stitcher a month ago or so. And I was like, ooh, I've got to try that. So this is what I'm doing right now. It's called Hex on the Beach. I have all the fabric that goes with it. Um, that I had to order separately from the pattern. But you cut out the pattern pieces with like a template and then you hand sew them. Then you baste them on with like this glue stick, which is pretty simple to me. It's actually cutting them, tracing them and cutting them out is fun. <laughs> I like using that rotary cutter and it's just something different. And then, so, but sewing them together is all done by hand. So that is a good like sit on the couch. Like I don't really need to count. I can watch TV when I'm doing it. I could sit in the car while I'm doing it. And you know, like if I'm going somewhere, like on a trip or something, it, I, it, you just have to be able to, I just put my readers on because I have that and turn the light on and I can sit in like my cozy chair and I can stitch the little pieces together. So I'm going to take you off this tripod -y thing that I have you on right now and take you upstairs real quick and show you what I've done. So hold please. Okay, so I have this laid out all over my guest bedroom bed that no one ever uses. So I thought it'd be a good place to kind of stick them and I'm having them on top of some diamond paintings that I haven't been doing. But this is what I've done so far. I've only, what I've sewed together I'm working on the first row and I've sewed all of these together up to this point. And I sew, I sew a section like this together and then I sew it onto this, I guess is what I'm doing. So I have it kind of all laid out here. I was trying to lay it out. So like that's the first row and then I'm working on the second row. I have cut out, I think, four colors of the fabric so far. And these, like, all these little things are, are together now. Figuring out how to get the little circle kind of in the middle. <laughs> like, you can see that, that is definitely not centered. I don't even care. That one's more centered. That was a little challenging. So, I've got a lot of, like, hand sewing to do. But, like I said, I could do this every night. I could do it every night and like I would love to just work on one every night and just do it and you just I have no time frame for this it doesn't have to be done before anything I would like for it to be done in my lifetime that's it well I can still see so I'm working on yeah I'm, I've got a that goes onto that and then I don't know I was just trying to lay it out I need to make some more of I guess this color. I've got it cut. When I cut them, I put them in a little bag and I put the name of the the color of the fabric. And 
so I know, you know, and so I, but I need to, I need to base those on to the little shapes that I have. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And look at all the, look at all of these that I have to go through. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many of them. And they're so pretty. I just love it because it's so colorful. But look at all of those fabrics. I love them so much. They're just, I love the colors. So yeah, that's my, that's my quilt top. Once I get this made, I don't really know what to do with it. I'm like I said, I after that I'd be like, uh, what do I do now? <laughs> do I take it someplace and have them finish it for me, or actually quilt it? I don't know. I've never done that, so what do you think I should do? Learn just to do the whole thing. I don't want to mess it up. Is the problem? So I might just take it somewhere and have them finish it for me. Okay, so that is hex on the beach. All right, y'all. Well, this is the end of this floss tube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for um, subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and like or whatever you want to do. I would like for this to grow a little bit, but I sure am enjoying it. Even if it doesn't, I think it's fun. It's fun to do. And also kind of keeps a record of like the, the things I've been working on and the progress that I made and so I'm hoping to make more progress on all of these things that I showed you. I probably won't start anything new, but who knows? <laughs> the mood could strike me and I might do it. So, um, let's see, was I gonna tell you anything else? Oh yeah, okay, so I didn't, well, I was gonna tell you about one thing that is not craft related or stitchy related, but kinda is in a, in a way. I, um, Today's Monday, and I, today is my clean the bathrooms day. I follow a program, or not a program, a kind of like a schedule that I got off. Um, it's an Instagram account, but they also have like a regular web, website called Clean Mama. Okay, so go look up Clean Mama on Instagram. But she has, when, when I got sick, I got into this like, cleaning mood where I was like wanting everything to be clean. You know, I felt like everything was dirty and germy and everything. So I started um, trying to, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start cleaning my house a lot better and get it, and get it, you know, cleaner. And I found this and I like it because it uses like a lot of cleaning. They have, she has a lot of cleaning recipes where you can make the things yourself and clean with them. And so um, I learned how to make like a DIY um, disinfecting spray and a shower cleaner. And my favorite thing is the, the sink scrub or the, I can use it in your, you can use it in your toilet. That's just made out of, basically it's baking soda, you know, baking powder. What's the one that's in the big, um, it's not the stuff you cook with. It's the stuff that's deodorizes. Is it baking? Is that baking soda? I'm gonna say baking soda. I don't know. <laughs> you can tell I don't cook. So you use that and you put like essential oils in it and that's it. You just mix up the essential oils and you put it in your sink and you add some soap and you scrub and it makes it all shiny and new. And you can use it in your toilet and you can use it in your tub. And you can also sprinkle it on your carpet and vacuum it up. So anyway, on every day of the week, uh, there's a, a like Mondays are clean your bathrooms, Tuesdays dusting, Wednesdays vacuum, Thursdays mop the floors. You know, you're, so if I stay on the schedule and I do it every week, then it doesn't get like too terrible. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I gotta go. I gotta go clean the toilets. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye.